with John Henry. Eddie, thank you. Thank you, sir. And that was John Henry. I hope. <laughs> <clears throat> now, you uh, are the first recipient. Congratulations, by well, the way, on you. being the first recipient thank of the you. Folk Heritage Award. And uh, that must be something for you. Oh, I'm, you know, just very happy, very yeah. pr proud, uh, honored. I guess that's proper words to the proud, honored. You make that look so easy. The way I play it is just easy. <laughs> <laughs> and that's uh, that's the traditional Kentucky thumb picker style. Right? That's that's uh, I play try to play as traditional as you can. I've told a few things in there wasn't quite moles or Merle, but mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> but, uh, but uh, most of it's pure Kentucky thumb picking. And that started out right here in Muhlenberg County. Started out in, around Muhlenberg County, and I sure did. It, we can trace it back to Kennedy Jones, the first man that uh, used a thumb pick on his. Uh, thumb and all and that's line of course we trace it back that way because we've got Merle Travis coming out of that line from Moles Rager and Ike Everly and then we have Chet Atkins and of course Chet influenced more people playing the guitar than anybody. Now what influenced you? How'd you get started? My dad was my big influence and all really he was uh, he played uh, rhythm guitar and fiddle and he wanted me to learn to play this style and all and so when I was 11 years old I had been learning I'd been playing chords and what we call mm -hmm. second and a fiddle. Mm -hmm. And I got to take some lessons from a fellow in Nortonville, Kentucky, which is where I was raised. And, and uh, his name was Don Grace. And uh, he played a Chet Atkins style and all, so I started that. But when I was 18, I heard Merle Travis play. And shortly after that, uh, I got to go meet Mose Rager. And that's where right. I wanted to play like those guys. Now, you mentioned rhythm guitar, but that's one of the things about uh, thumb picking that uh, that you eliminate is, uh, right. is the it, rhythm guitar. You, you can play your own, uh, you can accompany yourself. <laughs> 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 Careful how you say that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. and you've uh, you put out a CD now. So oh, I've got, yeah, I've got about uh, three CDs mm -hmm. out, but I think you have my Just My Style CD there. Right, with Carrie Black. Uh -huh. He's a bass player out in uh, near Seattle, Washington area. Now, how did you meet him? I've been out that way to teach the style of playing at a, uh, it was actually the sort of the founding guitar workshop called the Puget Sound Guitar Workshop, and I've been teaching out there for several years. It's a week thing during the summer, and people come, and also they pick up and refine their skills and things. And what's the last piece you're going to play for us? I think I'm going to pick and sing an old tune called The Preacher and the Bear. Well, I want to thank you so much for being here, well, and I you. will leave you to Appreciate it. Appreciate getting to be here.
Well, the preacher went out a walking. It was on a Sunday morning. Now, of course, it was against his religion, but still he took his guns along. Well, he shot himself some mighty fine quail and one little old measly hare. Now, on his way returning home, he met a great big grizzly bear. Well, the bear marched out in the middle of the road, just as mean as he could be. And the preacher commenced to climb right up up a cinnamon tree. Well, the bear sat down, he rolled his eyes, and he shook his ugly head. The preacher, he looked up to the sky, and these are the words he said. He said, Lord, you delivered Daniel from the lion's den. You delivered Jonah from the belly of the whale, and then you freed the Hebrew children from the fiery furnace like the good book do declare. Now, Lordy, Lordy, if you can't help me, please don't help that bear. to climb in that tree and that made the preacher sore well that preacher he climbed still higher till he couldn't climb anymore well about that time the limbs gave away and they both come a tumbling down now when that old preacher he began to pray you could hear him for miles around he said lord you delivered daniel from the lion's den and you delivered jonah from the belly of the whale and then you freed the Hebrew children from the fire furnace like the good book do declare. The Lordy, Lordy, if you can't help me, please don't help that bear. Well, they fought all the way to the river. It was a terrible fight. Well, old bear just really just laying it on, but Mr. Preacher was doing all right. Well, he dragged that beast right into the water. It was three times in and out. Now, when that old bear got up and limped away, that preacher, he began to shout. He said, Lord, you delivered Daniel from the lion's den. You delivered Jonah from the belly of the whale. Well, amen. Well, it may not seem like much to you from where you sit up there. But the hardest job that I've ever done was a baptizing that bear. We want to thank Eddie Pennington for being here and performing for us. He is one of this year's winners of the Governor's Awards in the Arts, and we also want to thank all of our other guests who came this evening. Now, next week, Zoe Speaks will be here to play for us, and we'll be going into the studio of artist Wyatt Gregg. I hope that you'll join us next Tuesday night at 8 o'clock, 7 central, right here on Mixed Media. I'm Scott Dowd. Have a terrific week. So be sure and join us right here next week on Mixed Media, same time, same place, for more interesting people exhibiting their uniqueness through the arts. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.